time for a mask, and I'm playing Assassin's Creed. Finally, we're at the end of the game. Let's go do this. Let's get the cursor out of here. Alright, so I'm continuing on from last time where I got interrupted by phone call, and now I'm back. A strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. I think there's a cutscene right now. I don't remember. I believe that there is no cutscene, apparently. Alrighty, getting over here was actually a bit of pain in the ass. Um, this is actually a very linear path, surprisingly. Except for one tiny little detail. Death. Death everywhere. Blood. All the blood. Also, not to mention there's like a bunch of enemies. You could kill all the enemies, but it kind of wastes time. Personally, I would just kind of like go in the midst of it all. Sometimes you're going to be required to like climb up things, which is very annoying. Considering there's like OP archers. I could just evade everyone. That's to that's not there's nothing wrong with that. Except for like 50 people chasing you and barricades. You have to kill every single person. Away from here. Let's go. Smash, 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 up. And spin, smash, smash, smash. By now, like playing the game, you should be very like knowledgeable of like how to do kills. When to hit, when not to hit, etc, etc. There you go, now we can advance. Alright, there's an archer up there, we're gonna ignore it. Holy crap, that's a lot of people. How far ahead can we advance? Nope, not too ahead. Let's start fighting again. Come on, this is the one part of the game where I don't kinda like it, cause it's like... Oh hey, you have to try getting all the way to the end. Fight all these people that are kind of useless to you in every single way possible. Did I mention this is mandatory? It's mandatory. But otherwise, I mean, it kind of preps you up, because like, all this fighting is like, you're going to be in a fight. And odds are, you're going to be in a battle with a bunch of enemies, so let's pit you up against weaker ones. Oh god, oh god. Whoop, oh, nope. Slice, dice, and hit, 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 nope, die, 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 oh, we're, we're free, we're free, we can advance, oh god, well, they freaking, they froze in the air, that's hilarious, when I was actually coming here, uh, my horse glitched and I like literally flew in the air and then I killed myself, Unfortunately, I did not have that part recorded, but I wish I did. This game can get really glitchy and funny. Also, why did the palette change? Whoa. And... Kick you in the head? Something? I don't know. Kill you. Whoa. Whoa. Why'd you slap me, bro? Slice. Alright. Death is... Eminent. Die. Oh god. Die, die. Nope! Aw, oh, balls. There's so many enemies right now, it's kind of just, like, hard to speculate where you're supposed to hit. And considering- oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. What the fuck? I have to kill everyone here? Holy crap, that is nuts. Okay, kill you. Backwards. Can we advance? I think we can advance. Oh, no, we can't. Come on. There's people behind us. Come on. You. You. Punch your stomach. Kill you. Kill. Kill. Die! Slice. Oh, I got his legs. Nicely. Done. 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 Oh, it's free! Come on, we're almost there. We're at, we're, at the, we're at the ending. That's the ending. Get ready. This is gonna be one tough boss. Oh, seriously? I have to kill all these guys? Holy crap. I didn't know I had to kill these dudes. And they're all strong. God dang it. 
Oh wait, these guys are actually pretty easy. I think they weakened them all. Oh wait, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh god, you're not dead. You're dead. You're dead. Die. Slice. Hit. Puckle. Finn. Gary. Juice. Ice cream. Smoothies. Death! Yummy! Man. I'm literally like smashing my controller as hard as I can. This is insane. There you go. The battle's here. Let us commence. Come no further. Hold a moment. It's words I bring, not steal. <laughs> Offering terms of surrender then. It's about time. You misunderstand. It's Al Mualim who sends me, not Salah Hadim. Assassin! What is the meaning of this? And be quick with it! You've a traitor in your midst. And he has hired you to kill me? Come to gloat about it before you strike? I wouldn't be taken so easily! It's not you I've come to kill. It's him. Speak then! That I may judge the truth! Who is this traitor? Robert de Sable. My lieutenant! <laughs> he aims to betray. That's not the way he tells it. He seeks revenge against your people for the havoc you've wrought in Acre. And I am inclined to support him. Some of my best men were murdered by some of yours. It was I who killed them, and for good reason. Hear me out. William of Montferrat. He sought to use his soldiers to take Acre by force. Gagné de la Plus. He would use his skills to indoctrinate and control any who resisted. Sabran. He intended to block the ports, preventing your kingdom from providing aid. They betrayed you, and they took their orders from Robert. You expect me to believe this outlandish tale? You knew these men, better than I. Are you truly surprised to learn of their ill intentions? Is this true? My liege, it is an assassin that stands before us. These creatures are masters of manipulation. Of course it isn't true. I've no reason to deceive. Oh, but you do. You're afraid of what will happen to your little fortress. Can it withstand the combined might of the Saracen and the Crusader army? My concern is for the people of the Holy Land. If I must sacrifice myself for there to be peace, so be it. This is a strange place we find ourselves in. Each of you accusing the other. There really is no time for this. I must be off to meet with Saladin and enlist his aid. The longer we delay, the harder this will become. Hold a moment, Robert. Why? What do you intend? Surely you do not believe him? It is a difficult decision, one I cannot make alone. I must leave it in the hands of one wiser than I. Thank you. No, Robert, not you. Then who? The Lord. Let this be decided by combat. Surely God will side with the one whose cause is righteous. If this is what you wish. It is. So be it. Two arms, assassins. Oh god. This is gonna be fun. Oh, what the fuck? I have to fight everyone? I forgot this part. I thought I took the Robert. Oh, crap. Fuck me. Alright, let's go do this. This is gonna be a melee party. Oh, 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 oh. Damn, son. You got me go. Oh, what the fuck? His body just flew. Nope. Punch in the stomach. Let's go. Free kill. Free kill. Free oh, how are you not dead? I thought you were dead. No off. Oh, ball. Nope. 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 Slice, dice. Next. Come on. Die. Okay, good, good. Oh, balls, 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 balls. Someone's gonna hit me. Someone's gonna hit me. Oh, you're dead. I got you. You're dead. Oh, how are you not dead? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, balls, 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 balls. Ah, they keep kicking me. That's not helpful. There you go. Now you're dead. Okay, you're dead. Slice your back up. Die. Oh, now I have to fight Robert himself? Holy crap. 
Alright, get some HP up in here. We're gonna need it. This is typically all you have to do, just kind of run in a circle. Run in a circle for a little bit and get your HP back up. This is hilariously easy and the cheapest thing you could ever do. Make it a little bit funner, have this extra camera on. I'ma get you, I'ma get you. Nah, you can't get me, son. Alright, I think I'm good. Let's go for battle. Oh god, you are strong as fucking nails. Oh! Fuck you, bro! <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Ah, uh, balls. Oop, nope. Man, I was gonna hit you. Fuck. You, you're actually pretty strong. Oh! Fuck you, you're not getting me. Where the hell did you- oh, you're over here. Okay, run it! Circles! To the window! To the wall! To the wall! Get all this HP fall! All this HP, HP, H- All this HP, HP, H- I don't know. Oh, oh, got him! Wow, that's actually really cheap. Ah, balls! You got me good. You got me good. I'm not gonna lie. You're dead. It's done then. Your schemes, like you, are put to rest. <laughs> you know nothing of schemes. You're but a puppet. He betrayed you, boy. Just as he betrayed me. Speak sense, Templar. Or not at all. Nine men he sent you to kill, yes? The Nine who guarded the treasure's secret. What of it? It wasn't Nine who found the treasure, assassin. Not Nine, but Ten. A Tenth? None may live who carry the secret. Give me his name. Oh, but you know him well. And I doubt very much you'd take his life as willingly as you've taken mine. Who? It is your master, Al Mualem. But he is not a Templar. Did you never wonder how it is he knew so much? Where to find us? How many we numbered? What we aspired to attain? He is the master of the assassins. We, oui. master of lies. You and I just two more pawns in his grand game. And now, with my death, only you remain. Do you think he'll let you live, knowing what you do? I've no interest in the treasure. Ah. But he does. The only difference between your master and I is that he did not want to share. Ironic, isn't it? That I, your greatest enemy, kept you safe from harm. But now you've taken my life, and in the process, ended your own. Seems God favors your cause this day. God had nothing to do with it. I was the better fighter. Ah, uh, you may not believe in him, but it seems he believes in you. Before you go, I have a question. Ask it then. Why? Why travel all this way? Risk your life a thousand times, all to kill a single man. He threatened my brothers and what we stand for. Ah, vengeance then. No, not vengeance. Justice. That there might be peace. This is what you fight for? Peace? Do you see the contradiction? Some men cannot be reasoned. Like that madman, Saladin. I think he'd like to see an end to this war as much as you. So I've heard, but never seen. Even if he doesn't say it, it's what the people want. Saracen and Crusader alike. The people know not what they want. It's why they turn to men like us. Then it falls to men like you to do what is right. Nonsense. We come into the world kicking and screaming. Violent and unstable. It is what we are. We cannot help ourselves. No. We are what we choose to be. <laughs> Your kind. Always playing with words. I speak the truth. There's no trick to be found here. We'll know soon enough. 
But I fear you cannot have what you desire this day. Even now, that heathen Saladin cuts through my men and I must attend to them. But perhaps, having seen how vulnerable he is, he will reconsider his actions. Yes, in time what you seek may be possible. You were no more secure than him. Do not forget that. The men you left behind to rule in your stead did not intend to serve you for longer than they had. Yes. To. Yes. I am well aware. Then I'll take my leave. The Master and I have much to discuss. It seems that even he is not without fault. He is only human, as are we all. You, as well. Safety and peace be upon you. We're done this area, holy crap. We're going back to Damascus, uh, not, not Damascus, we're going to mess you off. But with the twist, we're going to finish the entire game right now. What I said get up, goddammit! Listen! Oh no. Seems your assassin friends found us. What? How'd you do it, Desmond? Hey, hey, look, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever's going on down there has got nothing to do with me. They're here for you, and I sure as shit didn't invite them. What's the situation down there? We're taking heavy fire. Can you contain it, or do I need to evacuate the prisoner? Only five or six. We've got them outnumbered. A couple of wounded, but we'll pull through. We'll get it under control. God damn you, Desmond. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I told you I had nothing to do with this. How would I even contact them? Telepathy? Come on! Doesn't matter. They'll be dead soon enough. Here, have a listen. That's been neutralized. Looks like the cavalry won't be coming. Dunno, Doc. We're freaking out a minute ago. Your little research facility not as secure as you thought it was? Worried they'll be back with more? I don't think so, Desmond. What Lucy here is trying to say is that there aren't any assassins left to come for you. We've been very busy this past year, hunting down your little enclaves, your desert communes and whatnot. I'm afraid you're on your own. Rest up, Mr. Miles. Tomorrow, we finish this. I'm sorry, Desmond. You mentioned the desert. Do you think... They sent a team there, but the place was deserted. I don't know where your parents are, and I can't promise they're still alive. But I think they got away. Thanks. Thanks for checking. It's not as bad as it seems. What are you talking about? They just killed, literally killed, my only chance of getting out of here. And then I find out the assassins are all but destroyed, and, and Christ, I still don't know what these people are planning. But I do know they plan to kill me when they're done. I am screwed, okay? What do you want me to do? Just try and have a little faith. Your... Have faith. Rest up, Desmond. You're gonna need the energy. Yep, Lucy's an assassin. Let's talk to her one more time. Aren't you tired? Okay, we can't talk to her. So, we're going to basically finish up the entire game right now. It's probably going to end up being 30, maybe 40 minute long episode. But in all honesty, I want to get done with this game. And I don't want to split up this ending. Because it's actually very, like, crucial to the entire storyline. Well, this is fucking epic. Get up. Even earlier than usual, Doc. I'd like to get this over with as quickly as possible. If you say so. Don't be so glum, Mr. Miles. Today is a historic day. One that will be remembered for years to come. Remembered by some of us, anyway. Well, they're trying to kill me. Also, if you guys remember, Alwalim is a traitor, essentially. He, he, we have to kill him. He is technically a Templar. And we're working against it. We have to, we've been working with him, and now we have to work against him. This is probably going to be one of the coolest fights in all of gaming history that I've ever played. Let's go do this. We're ready. Let's go do this. Oh 
Oh boy. The short blade is best for quickly fending off multiple enemies. Where is everyone? Gone to see the master. Was it the Templars? Did they attack again? They walk the path. What path? What are you talking about? Towards the light. Speak sense. There is only what the master shows us. This is the truth. You've lost your mind. You too will walk the path, or you will perish. So the master commands. It was Al Mualim, wasn't it? What's he done to you? Praise be to the Master, for he has led us to the light. Everyone's under control, by the way, if you guys didn't pick that up. So, Amwalam um, technically used Apple of Eden, controlled everyone in the city, and now they all praise him. The only people he did not control are myself and, uh, what's his face? Uh, Marik, uh, the dude that we saved, Jerusalem. Shut up, you're useless. Here's where it's gonna get a little bit tricky. Also, I just want to point out right now, yes, um, what, what you think the ending is gonna be is probably what's gonna happen. The world will be cleansed. And I'm gonna talk about more about Altair's storyline in maybe Revelations if I ever get around to playing that game. Cause the whole storyline's like, it's gonna get fucked up. I'm not even lying, but it's so good. Oh crap, yeah, so we have to fight our brothers right now. Literally, we're fighting assassins. This is probably gonna be one of the hardest things. Considering these are like our own brothers. They have our own skills. They have our own combos. Think of like fighting Dark Lake, except eight copies, and they're all pretty decent. Except kinda weaker. And they take like one hit and they're dead. And remember, these guys are mind controlled, so we think they're evil. They're trying to kill us, we're trying to kill them. It's as simple as that. Oh wait, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 you're not getting me. Nope. Next. I just realized they drop vertically, that's fucked up. They don't like drop in an arc, they kinda like stop at a wall. That's hilarious. Oh crap. Okay, got him. He's dead. Done! Next up, you. Come on, I need more people to kill. You're dead. Sliced you, diced you. What's up? What's next? Whoa, 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 Too many things. What the fuck? Oh. I'm dying! Up here! Oh, I can't access up here. How do I access? Ah. Go, 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 go. You picked a fine time to arrive. So it seems. Guard yourself well, friend. Al Mualim has betrayed us. Yes. Betrayed his Templar allies as well. How do you know? After we spoke, I returned to the ruins beneath Solomon's temple. Robert had kept a journal, filled its pages with revelations. What I read there broke my heart. But it also opened my eyes. You were right, Altair. All along our master has used us. We were not meant to save the Holy Land, but deliver it to him. He must be stopped. Be careful, Malik. What he's done to the others, he'll do to us given the chance. You must stay far from him. What would you propose? My blade arm is still strong and my men remain my own. It would be a mistake not to use us. Distract these thralls then. Assault the fortress from behind. If you can draw their attention away from me, I might reach Al Mualim. I will do as you ask, Dai. The men we face. Their minds are not their own. If you can avoid killing them. Yes. Though he has betrayed the tenets of the Creed, it does not mean we must as well. I'll do what I can. It's all I ask. Safety and peace, my friend. Your presence here will deliver us both. 
That's it, the final boss. Or the final person we have to kill. On the wall of I'm saying right now, this is probably one of the best boss fights I've ever had. Fucking boss. The atmosphere is just so perfect. Everyone's mind controlled. They're kind of stuck here. Why are there people here? There are so many innocents. I must be careful not to harm them. The one time you use gentle push in the game. Wait, do they all stay in that formation? Oh, they don't. They kind of just look forward. That's it, the final boss. Let's go do this. Let's step in the light. No! What's happening? So, a student returns. I've never been one to run. Never been one to listen, either. I still live because of it. What will I do with you? Let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. Feel its heat. Let you go? Well, that would be unwise. Why are you doing this? I found proof. Proof of what? That nothing is true. And everything is permitted. Come. Destroy the betrayer. Send him from this world. Oh. I forgot. We have to fight everyone we killed. Again, one of the most iconic, like, endings of the game. Where you have to actually... This isn't the end of the game, by the way. We still have to kill Amala. But the fact that you have to fight everyone that you've just faced is pretty freaking amazing. I love this game for this exact reason. Everything before it might just seem a little tedious and whatnot, but this ending is just so worth it. Oh my god, I can't even stress it enough. I love this already. Oh god, oh, I forgot, you're OP, you're OP. Whoa, 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 whoa. And for the record, these are reanimations. Face me, or are you afraid? I have stood before a thousand men, all of them superior to you, and all of them dead by my hand. I am not afraid. Prove it. What could I possibly fear? Look at the power I command. This just got fucking epic. Alright, he's the one in the middle. Scatter and kill! You can't really kill him, you can only kill the fake one, sadly. But they're still equally OP as fuck. Nope. Lol. 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 Nope. Nope. And next, and a nope. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was hard. Okay. Gotta be careful, because these guys do a lot of combos. Especially if they gang up on you, like right now. Not to mention they do insane amount of counters. Okay, you're down. Basically the trick is just counter one, keep stabbing until he's dead, and yeah, you kinda win. Ah, balls. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dead? Oh, hey, he's dead. Have you any final words? You lied to me. Called Robert's goal foul, and all along it was yours as well. I've never been much good at sharing. You won't succeed. Others will find the strength to stand against you. And this is why, so long as men maintain free will, there can be no peace. I killed the last man who spoke as such. Bold words, boy. But just words. Then let me go. I'll put words into action. <laughs> Tell me, master. Why did you not make me like the other assassins? Why allow me to retain my mind? 
who you are and what you do are twined too tight together. To rob you of one would have deprived me of the other. And those Templars had to die. <sighs> but the truth is, I did try. In my study, when I showed you the treasure. But you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? The Red Sea was never parted. Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion. To force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another. One that demands less blood. At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? It isn't right. Ah. Now logic has left you. In its place, you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done, then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. It seems, then, we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. Let's go. Final battle! Oh, boy. This is probably one of the best battles I've ever played. Because it's hard, it makes you use almost all your fighting skills that you've learned in the game. And not to mention, it's freaking hard. Oh, fudge. Got him. Okay, he teleported. I have to find him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he... Oh, there's a thingy here. I should get that. In the middle of battle, collect the flags. He's down here. Get him. Oh, crap. Whoa! What happened to my character? Oh, balls. Okay, that's... Oh, god. My character's glitchy here. Uh, okay, gotta back up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop glitching out, I'll take... Fuck off. Okay, run it. You can't really kill him in this area. Mostly just, um... I guess, kick him. And then after you kick him a certain amount of times, he gets really weak, and that's when you can do whatever you want to do. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, god dang it. He's dead. Impossible. The student does not defeat the teacher. So it seems. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. Holy crap. I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. The hell? Destroy it! Destroy it, as you said you would. I... I can't. Yes, you can, Altair. But you won't. It's showing us the world. We've got it.
end of the game. Finally. What the hell was that? Well? We've got the map. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. Check. What the hell is that? So Vinick's a bad guy and Lucy's a good person. What does that mean? And all these messages, I assume, there's a bunch of symbols around here right now, like over there, over there too, and appears to be a Satan, a Satan star. I don't know what that's called. I'm, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. And there's a message over here also. But now to finally end the game. like is that blood the hell were they keeping here before me and what happened to him what does it mean i wonder that's the end of assassin's creed holy crap okay i just want to point out this is what one of my favorite endings of the game only good reason because it leaves on such a big cliffhanger, and two years later we got Assassin's Creed 2, which is by far one of the amazing games ever. It made number one look like it, it just put number one to like shame. It's like thank you number one for being what you are, but in all reality, number two was so much better. The storyline advances way more. You find out what happens in the next game, and from there on you have the story of Ezio, which I'm going to be playing. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to play number two as well. Hopefully number three, hopefully Brotherhood, hopefully Revelations, even Black Flag if I have a chance. I'm going to try playing every single Assassin's Creed on my channel. That's one thing I really want to do when I start this channel, and I'm going to do it all the way to the end. And I think there is a little cinematic at the end of this, so I'm going to go through all the credits. So in the meantime, just thanks everyone for watching this series so far. It's been an amazing series. I put so much effort into this. And it's one of my favorite games ever. Like, oh my god, I just love this game so much. And just to just to put on some things, you kill Al Mualim, correct? But what happens afterwards is a bit different because they go into that story then revelations. But I'll try to unearth what happens a little bit right now. So what happens is Al Mualim dies, and because of that. Uh, the Malik and Altair are just together, and what's happening is that everyone is recovering from what happened. So everyone's just like, whoa, what just happened? Why, do, why is the Master dead? Why does Altair have blood on his sword? So does this mean Altair's a traitor? Altair and Malik try to convince everyone that no, we're not traitors, we just saved your asses. Obviously that didn't happen. Well, at least people don't believe it. And because of that, Altair is forced to run away with Malik. Now... Altair and Malik are gone. There is no master left. Who takes control? Abbas. The guy that we hate in the beginning because his father died in front of us and we had to tell him, yes, your father died in front of us, and because of that, he hates us for life. He got he's not as big of an assassin that he should be. 
so he, his ranking is way lower. So everyone starts to believe a boss, they're like, no, Altair is a traitor, get rid of him, he's a heretic. So they get rid of us. Like, I think 10 years later, or even 20 years, now that we have the Apple of Eden with us, we kind of get a little bit obsessed with it. Now, they don't tell us that in this game. Also, that lady that we uh, didn't kill in, uh, whatchamacallit, Jerusalem? I forgot her name right now, I think it's Elizabeth. Do not trust me on that, for, for sure. But basically, you meet up with her when you're the age of 35, and because of this, she kind of becomes your wife. You two start being together, she's like your new partner, and none of this is told in any of the games, not even Revelations. This is all told in the book. But anyways, point to be told, um, she's basically like your new like girlfriend, wife, whatever. You have two kids and become assassins as well. So now you have two sons and whatnot. And what happens is when you're like the age of 60, you decide to go back to Messiah. Except everything is not the same as it was. And both of your brother, well, both of your sons, essentially, they were killed by the hands of a boss or a boss's minions, as it, whoever wants to call them that. Now, Altair decides to take revenge. What he does, um, he kind of gets a little bit crazy with the Apple of Eden because he can just control it and kill people. Because of this, he actually kills his wife. And that's all that's told to us. Everything else is in Revelations. I prompt him to play that game. Whoa, we just saved. And is there anything else left to do? I I do not recall if there's anything left to do in the game now. Nope, we're basically done the game. So thank you everyone for watching this entire series. It's been an honor. It's been it's been so fun to just play the game. So again, thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends on this channel. I'll see you guys in the next series I play, which will hopefully hopefully be Assassin's Creed 2. I'm gonna go buy the game on Steam right now if it's on sale, and if not, I'm gonna try buying it as soon as I can. So again, thanks everyone for watching, and have a great day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, fucking whatever the hell, wherever you guys live. Peace.